I think he's made a tremendous mistake here because he's a real fighter. He's going to get in shape. He's not afraid to mix it up. And he's going to go right at Jake Paul. Not counting. Bro, it's wild to me. And then in all the comments, like, oh, dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is boxing. I'm like, oh, you don't know what a dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Mike There's Perry no is, quit. He's a game-bred pit bull. He's going to get in your face for all eight of those rounds. Anyways. I think, uh, God dang it, that's a, actually a tough fight to predict. Because oh. uh, Mike's in it, but he's in bare knuckle. It is a different sport, different size space to fight in, different range. It's, you know, it's very similar, but very different. Jake's been boxing. Mike's been bare knuckle boxing. You just don't get it. it, it, it. Jake Paul has gone wild after Joe Rogan's brutal takedown of the upcoming Mike Perry fight. This epic clash is set for July 20th, and UFC commentator Joe Rogan has shared his controversial predictions, shaking up the entire fight world. Rogan put all his faith in Platinum Perry, and his comments have Jake Paul flipping out. Stay tuned as we dive into this explosive showdown and uncover why Rogan believes Perry will knock Paul Sparks out. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Joe Rogan has shared his ultimate breakdown of this highly anticipated match on the Joe Rogan Experience. Rogan's known for his brutally honest takes on everything from MA to boxing, and this time, He's firmly in Perry's corner. He warns fans that counting out Platinum Perry because he's a bare knuckle brawler is a rookie mistake. Rogan's words carry weight and when he speaks, the fight world listens. I don't see Jake Paul standing a chance against someone like Mike Perry. Perry's experience and power are on a different level. Ouch, that's got to sting if you're Jake Paul. Not counting. Bro, it's wild to me. And then in all the comments like, oh dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is boxing. I'm like, oh, you don't know what a dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Oh, Mike There's Perry no is. quit. He's a game bred pit bull. He's going to get in your face for all eight of those rounds. Anyway. Joe's blunt comments quickly made waves across social media, shaking the confidence of many who thought this fight would be a walk in the park for the YouTuber turned boxer love him or hate him there's no denying jake has made a name for himself in the fight world with his knockout wins but his only loss handed to him by tommy fury showed that he can be beaten mike perry though not tommy fury is still a beast rogan believes this fight will be brutal contrary to what many boxing fans expected perry, time to go back to school jake paul never one to shy away from controversy took to social media to respond and boy did he go wild the problem child posted a fiery video of himself back in the gym gearing up to put perry to sleep in the ring jake paul mike perry bring it on i'm ready to take on anyone jake didn't stop there he also took to twitter posting a clip claiming that perry would flatline him in the ring and that he made a huge mistake signing the contract jake paul i've made a massive mistake jake's response was juicy launching a verbal smackdown at rogan and giving fans a sneak peek of his intense training sessions but is it enough to take down perry let's dive into rogan's detailed analysis joe rogan's been in the game long enough to know every corner of the ring his prediction isn't just a wild guess he's broken down every aspect of the fight leading to perry's victory mike perry is a gamer pitbull he'll get in jake's face for all eight rounds jake paul might not be ready for that level of aggression and experience Rogan points out that Perry's relentless style and experience make him a formidable opponent. While Jake Paul has shown he can deliver powerful shots, his durability against a seasoned fighter like Perry is up for debate. Mike Perry isn't just any fighter, he's a seasoned professional who started his career with the UFC. With a record of 1480 in MMA, Perry decided to test his waters in the bare knuckle fighting championship. Becoming the league's top athlete with an undefeated record, Joe wasn't kidding when he said Mike's a game for Pitbull. On the other hand, Jake Paul, who entered the boxing scene in 2020, has proven himself against retired MMA stars and NBA players. But when it comes to professional boxers, his only seasoned opponent was Tommy Fury, who handed him his first loss. Jake's powerful right hand and improving footwork make him a decent boxer, but facing someone like Perry is a whole new level. Perry's aggressive close quarters combat style contrasts with Jake's reliance on his powerful right hand and set up punches. Perry's experience and toughness will test Jake's abilities like never before. Perry is a fighter. Mike Perry wasn't necessarily the best jiu-jitsu artist or had the best wrestling, but there's not a fight that Mike Perry won't take. I've spoken to Mike Perry on several occasions, and he is the epitome of a real fighter. And he's an absolute star in the bare knuckle army. Other pros are also sharing their takes on this much anticipated fight. Former MMA star Michael Bisping and analyst Chael Sonnen believe Jake is underestimating Perry's ability in the ring. Michael Bisping added, Mike Perry is a real fighter. He's going to get in shape, mix it up, and go right at Jake Paul. I think Jake's made a tremendous mistake here. Perry versus Jake Paul. I, I think it's more of a competitive match. I think Mike would look, oh, Tyson was just a little bit too, you know, age, weather. Uh, but I think Mike Perry versus Jake Paul is a very, very interesting, very competitive fight. I think it would be the most competitive fight 
uh, Jake's had other outside like to uh, Tommy Fury fight. I would be very interested to see, and I'm excited to see it. I think it's actually happening July 20th, and I don't know where, but I want to go. Chael Sonnen says this is going to be the most competitive fight Jake's had. It's a tough one to predict. Perry has been begging for this fight with Paul since 2020, and now that it's finally happening, he's determined to blow up Paul's future plans. July 20th is about to be one hell of a day. I think, uh, God dang it, that's actually a tough fight to predict. Because Jay or Mike's in it, but he's in bare knuckle. It is a different sport, different size space to fight in, different range. It's, you know, it's very similar, but very different. Jake's been boxing. Mike's been bare knuckle boxing. You just don't get it. With Mike Tyson pulling out of his fight with Paul due to health issues, Perry has taken on the challenge. This fight will determine if Jake can prove his critics wrong or if Perry will end his winning streak. As Jake Paul prepares to prove his critics wrong, including Joe Rogan, the fight world eagerly awaits the outcome. Mike's training footage compared to Jake's sparring fail is a wake-up call for the YouTuber turned boxer to say the least. This performance has raised a lot of eyebrows in the fight world, and boxing pros are hopping on the bandwagon to share their two cents on the whole fiasco. Very few have praised Jake Paul for finally stepping in with tough opponents, while many others are on the same page as Rogan and believe that Jake might be in over his head. UFC president Dana White always has something to say about Jake and he has weighed in. White has been against the Mike Tyson BS. Jake Paul matchup since day one. He's a strong believer that Mike should stay out of the ring for good and respect his age. He believes that Paul is making a dirty move. By not only challenging, but stepping into the ring with Mike, who will be 58 by the time this fight sees the light of day. Meanwhile, Floyd Mayweather, who has had his own back and forth with Jake Paul, shared his take on the scenario too. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's levels to this sport. Jake needs to understand that he's not at the top level yet Money Mayweather likes to stay out of the drama as much as he can, but he couldn't keep his opinion about Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul to himself. This mismatch clash has everyone talking, and due to the overhype, a lot of people are forgetting that Jake's got another hurdle to cross before he puts up gloves against Tyson. This guy is fighting Mike Perry in a couple of weeks, and this fight is going to be a close one. Mike Perry isn't 58, he's a 32-year-old athlete in his prime, and that brings a lot to the table. Jake hasn't fought an athlete close to his age in quite some time, so this one can really pose a real challenge in the ring. If you haven't been up to speed, let me fill you in with everything you need to know about Mike Perry. Perry is a former UFC star with a record of 1480, but bare knuckle is where he truly shines and dominates the game. Platinum is undefeated in bare knuckle with a record of 5-0, and it's safe to say that he's easily the league's biggest star. Now, if you're wondering about his boxing record, He's only ever stepped into the ring once against Kenneth McNeil and failed to come out on top. But that doesn't change anything because if there's anyone who can pull off an upset, it's Perry. And I'm gonna knock the teeth out of his mouth. Jake, I'll beat your ass, bitch. July 20th, come and see at Emily Arena, Tampa, Florida, days and pay-per-view. Perry initially wanted to challenge Paul in a bare knuckle fight, but Paul declined the offer and went for a traditional fight instead, of course. That doesn't change anything because Perry's still confident he can knock the man out cold. Jake Paul believes that Perry's going to be easy work and that he's going to get a good win to cement his status as a legitimate boxer before he steps into the ring with Tyson for the biggest fight of his. What do you think about Joe's brutal takedown of the fight? Will Jake Paul overcome Perry or is he in over his head? Fill the comment section with your thoughts, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more boxing news. See you in the next video. Make sure to check out our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.